Mukesh. I born in 1979. Maybe I'll be here up to my death, maybe 2030 or 40 if the world exists. I just want to know where I was before 1979, where I'll be after my death. If I, I have been meant to be here in this world for this certain period, who am I representing? The brother asked the question that he was born in 1979 and today he's in UAE. He wants to know where will he be afterwards. He will be saying most probably be here till 2030 if the world exists. Where will he be after he dies? And who are you representing? Brother, you are representing your own self. If you have not manipulated or done some makeup or trying to hide, if you are your own self, you are representing yourself. Point number one. Where will you be after you die? Depending upon what are you following. If you follow the last and final revelation, the glorious Quran, after you die, you will be in heaven. If you go against the laws of the Creator, against the last and final revelation, the Quran, then after you die, you will be in hell. So I don't know if you accept the commandments of Almighty God today, what you did between 1979 and till the 14th of April 2012, all will be forgiven. All forgiven, zero will be forgiven. So in the past, whatever you have done in the past will be forgiven because our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, the moment a person accepts Islam, all his previous sins are washed away. So depending upon whether you follow the laws of the Creator, where will you be, I can tell you. But you don't know when will you die. If you say, if that is the case, you know what I'll do? Maybe I'll live till 2030, so I'll accept Islam in 2029. Brother, you don't know, even I don't know, how long will you live? And you rightly said, if the world exists. I don't know till how long will the world exist. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 34, no one besides Allah knows the hour, when will the earth end? We don't know. Whether it will stay for a few years, for a few decades, we don't know. How long will you live and I live, I don't know. So the best is the moment you come to know the truth, Accept it. All the past sins will be forgiven. Then you try and practice and follow as much as you can. So where will you be after you die depends upon you. I can only guide you. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ghashia, chapter number 88, verse number 21-22, Allah says, Fazakir in namanta muzakir. He tells the Prophet, your job is to deliver the message. Giving hidayah is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I want to ask you, brother, after you die, do you want to go to heaven or hell? After you die, do you want to go to heaven or hell? To be frank, I don't know. You don't know? Because for me, the heaven and hell is here. It's up to us. Yes, this is temporary heaven hell, you know? Temporary. As I mentioned earlier, Quran says in Surah Mul, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allazi khalaq al mawta wal hayata. It is Allah who has given you death and life so that he may test which of you is good in deeds. This is a test. And an average man lives in this world for about 70 years, 60 years. Some die at the age of 20, some 50, some live for 100 years. Average maybe 60 to 70 years. So this is temporary phase. The next life is eternal. So you say heaven and hell is here. And then if you try to make this life heaven, by going after luxury, enjoying life, drinking alcohol, your next life becomes hell. Because Quran, Allah says in Surah Hud, that those who want this world, Allah will give you this world, but will not give you in the next life. Those who care for next life, Allah will give you next life, also this life. So as a businessman, if someone tells you that I will give you little trouble, difficulties for the 70 years, Next life, eternal, unending, always pleasure. So this life is 0.0001% of the next life. As a businessman, you wouldn't mind saying, okay, I don't mind trouble in this couple of, you know, small percentage. You know, like before the examination, you struggle, you stay awake, you don't sleep, or you sleep less. 
and then you appear for the examination. So that, that few days before that you struggle and you study, so that in future it is good for you. So similarly, brother, this life is a test for the hereafter. If you're a Hindu, if you're Mahesh, and if you believe in the Hindu scriptures, same the Veda says. If you read Rig Veda, book number 10, chapter number 16, verse number 4 to 5, talks about Punar Janam. Punar means next, Janam means life. Same thing what the Quran says about next life. So this life you come, and there's next life. Being born, dying, born, dying, cycle of birth, rebirth is not mentioned in the Vedas. It talks about Punar Janam means next life, which is there in the Quran. So a really good person would think about, as a better businessman, that the next life is multiple times. Multiple, keep on multiplying. This life is a small, small, negligible point, 0.001% compared to the next life. So as an intelligent person, you wouldn't mind taking trouble in this life so that your next life becomes paradise and heaven. So, brother, would you like in the next life to go to heaven or hell? Brother? Yes, sir. Would you like to go in the next life into heaven or hell? No, sir. Uh, I don't think I will be having a next life because if I am having... If I'm going to have a next life... Do you believe in the Hindu scriptures? Yes, sir. Do you believe? Do Not you believe in the, the Vedas? scriptures, some of the points. Do you believe in the Vedas? Yes. I don't know big about the Vedas. But you believe it to be sacred, correct? Sorry? Do you believe it to be from God? No, I feel I am God. You are God. Good. All are God. It, that's what Hinduism says, Aham Brahmasmi. What, what is the definition of God? What is the definition? I God. don't know. I, I am God, you are God, what is the definition of God? I don't know. That means you don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I know myself. Okay. You say you are God, I am God. We what are all a part of God. I am asking you, what is the definition of God? And you say, I don't know. Are you talking English or what? I am talking English. So what is the definition of God? I cannot define, sir. Just I can feel. So without defining, you are saying you are God and I am God? But I can realize, sir. What God is, is everywhere in all of us. What is God. the definition of God? Then I will say whether God is everywhere, you are God or not. First, give me the definition of God. If your definition of God is only wrong, I said, this is not God what I'm talking about. What is the definition of God? I don't know to define, sir, exactly in words. So that means you do not believe. I'm not talking about the God which you're talking about. So you should ask me what is the definition when I have to tell you. Yes, sir. Can you explain me? If you don't know what you should do, you should ask or not? Yes. So ask me, I will tell you. The definition of God come to according to Vedas and Upanishad, then I come to the Quran. If you read the Upanishad, Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number six, section number two, verse number one, Ikkam Evidityam. God is only one without a second. It's mentioned in Sveta Sedar Upanishad, chapter number six, verse number nine. Nachasya Kasij Janita Na Chadipa, a Sanskrit quotation which says that of that God, he has got no superior, he has got no parents. Almighty God has got no Lord, no superior, no mother, no father. It's mentioned in Sveta Sveta Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19, Na tasya Pratima Asti. Of that God, there is no Pratima. Pratima is the Sanskrit word which means image, picture, portrait, sculpture, statue. Na tasya Pratima Asti. Of that God, there is no image, no picture, no portrait, no painting, no photograph, no idol, no statue, no sculpture. Same thing is repeated. In Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3, Na Tasrapati Masti, of that God, there is no image, there is no picture, there is no portrait, there is no photograph, no sculpture. Furthermore, it says, in the Brahma Sutra of Hinduism, Ekkam Braham Devutya Naste, Nina Naste Kinchan. There is only one God, not a second one, not at all, not at all, not in the least bit. So based on this definition, God is one, there is nothing like him. 
and the Quran for the faith in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4. The definition of God is, Qul Allah Ahad, says Allah one and only, Allah Samad. Allah the absolute eternal Lam milad wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten Walam There is nothing like him Say is Allah one and only Are you the only human being? Am I the only human being? Yes or no? Yes, yes. or no? I'm a human being Are you the only human being? Only one? No, 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 no. I'm one of the Qul hu Allah ad. Say he is Allah one and only Allah who summat the absolute and eternal. Are you absolute and eternal? Are you absolute and eternal? No. So how can you be God? I am not absolute and eternal. How can I be God? He begets no noisy begotten. Are you begotten? Were you born? Were you born or not? Yeah. So how can you be God? Even I was born. How can I be God? Do you beget? I have begotten. I have got children. Do you have children? Yes. How can you be God? There's nothing what like him. I, what I'm saying that is means your I... definition of God. Forget what you say about God. I'm talking about my definition of God. Forget what you say about God now. Keep it. That may be God with a small g. I'm not talking about God with a small g, what you're talking about. I'm talking about God with a capital G. He's only one. He's all powerful. He's absolute. He begets not, nor is he begotten. There's nothing unto like him. Based on this definition, can you call yourself God? Can I call myself God? If you wish, you can. <laughs> I asked you the question, are you born? You're saying yes. If you wish, then you'll be called a lunatic. No, sir, what I'm feeling is what I'm a I... part of the God. You were saying the only one God, no? I feel I am the part of it. The big one. We all are part of it. Maybe we got detached as like this that old is, God that detached is your from definition the sun. of God. That's not the definition of God of Vedas. It's not the definition of God of Quran. So therefore I say this God is a different God. I'm not talking about the God that you believe in. I'm talking about the God which I believe in. He's one. He's not part of everything. Your God, forget about it. Keep it at the side now. Mind? The God, what you're talking keep it at the side. I'm talking about the definition of my God. You understand? He's only one. He's all powerful. Are you all powerful? Are you all powerful? Not all powerful. So you are not the God I'm talking about. What God you're talking about, keep that God aside. Okay. Okay? My God I'm talking about. Therefore, la ilaha, there is no God. All the other false gods are wrong. You keep it aside. I'm talking about the correct definition. Someone is talking about 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. That equation, keep it on the side. The God that I'm talking about, the entity I'm talking about, He is one. He is all powerful. He is absolute. He begets not, nor is He begotten. He is not born. He does not give birth to anyone. And there's nothing like Him. He's only one. Do you believe in such a God? No, sir, I don't believe. That's the problem. That means you are not believing in the true God. My request to you is, you read your Hindu scriptures, all the quotation I gave, go and read the translation no, of sir, the Quran, I am... try and find out the true God. Not the fake God, I am God, you are God. I don't consider myself God. You are calling me God, so I'll say yes, I'm God. I'm not a fool to accept you that I'm God. You want to go to hell, go. I don't want, I don't want you to take me to hell. I'm going to go to heaven. I want to take you to heaven. But to take you to heaven, if I agree with you that you're God and I'm God, we both will go to hell. I prefer we both go to heaven. Therefore, I request you read your scripture, the Vedas, the Upanishads, read the Quran, educate yourself, and join me. We both will go to heaven, inshallah. Thank you.